A very good morning to you. Welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open higher today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.64% rise. Yesterday, the market closed 0.08% lower at 7,024. In business news from this morning, Liontown Resources reports that Kathleen Valley remains on schedule to start first production of spongimine by mid-2024. The award of all major construction and mining contracts has enabled finalized estimates of project capital costs to first production of $951 million. Completion of the mine design work and the appointment of Burnquart has underpinned confidence to bring forward expansion capital to develop new mining fronts, support the ramp up and accelerate for MTPA production in two years. Liondown is well advanced in discussions with syndicate of commercial banks and government credit agencies to obtain the funding it requires through the expected generation of positive net cash flows. Albemarle continues to progress due diligence as previously announced. The GPT Group advises that its chief financial officer, Anastasia Clark, has resigned and accepted the role of CFO at Charter Hall. She has been the CFO for eight years. The GPT board thanks her for her service and contribution. GPT will initiate a process to appoint a new CFO. A $3.2 million order for specialist ballistic armor products has been received by XTech Group's ballistics division, Highcom Armor. They received the new purchase order to supply high-end ballistic body armor products to an undisclosed international military customer. It's their second large order received this financial year. This allows for the further reduction in infantry to normalize levels. Ex-Tech Group CEO Scott Basham says this new international order will see thousands of our advanced high-performance body armor products manufactured and shipped overseas over the coming weeks to meet this customer's operational requirements. Let's take a short break now. Stay tuned for more news after the break. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. The Dow Jones Industrial Average climbed 0.35%. The S&P 500 added 0.59% and the Nasdaq Composite jumped 0.83%. In Europe, markets closed higher. London's FTSE gained 0.11%. Frankfurt gained 0.70%. And Paris closed 0.63% lower. Looking at Asian markets, Tokyo's Nikkei lost 1.54%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng lost 1.36%. Our China Shanghai Composite closed 0.1% higher. That's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.